Hello, I'm Hazefest. This is going to be a tutorial on how to install custom maps into your Dark Age of Camelot uh, UI. And I'm going to use the custom Atlas maps that I have created for the Atlas server, but this can also work on any server that has custom maps. So for this example, I'm going to use my own. So we are currently on Atlas, and I'm going to go ahead and jump in game. Here we are. I'm using a custom UI. But the maps that I'm using are the default maps. So if I drag and increase my UI here, you can see that I'm using the default maps for Dark Age of Camelot. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to stay in the game and I'm going to change my maps. So to do that, the first thing you do is go to your folder that has Dark Age of Camelot. Go to Dark Age of Camelot folder go to the small lowercase UI folder. There should be a custom folder in here if you're running a custom UI. If there is not a custom folder, create that folder, all lowercase custom. Once you create that folder, inside that, there should be a folder called maps. I have deleted my folder, so I'm going to go ahead and say right click, new, folder capital maps so it's capital M there's nothing inside this folder all right so what I'm gonna do is go to discord I'm gonna type exclamation point haze fest it's going to bring up my haze fest resources for Atlas with a link click that it'll take you here there will be a folder at the top that says Atlas maps by haze fest click on that There'll be different sizes here. There's going to be a 256 by 256 map size pack. And then there's going to be a 512 by 512, which is four times larger than the 256. So if you're running higher resolutions, you want the larger maps. And if you're running smaller resolutions, you probably want to keep the 256 normal size maps. So in this particular case, I'm running a 1080 UI. So I'm going to uh, 1080 resolution. So I'm going to choose the 512 maps. So I'm going to say download. I'm going to scan for the viruses. There are no viruses. Once it's downloaded, you open that zip file and you extract it to the folder that you want. Or you can simply pull up your folder, grab all the DDS files from in here, and move them over. That easy. Now that you have done that, we'll just minimize all this junk. In the game, it still shows me having the default map until I change it. Once I change it, it will change to the correct size map. You can see how much larger the 512 is over the default. All right. So if you don't want to run 512, the same process is for the 256. So if I right click on 256 for Hibernia, I'll download this map pack and then I'll open that, go back to my folder and then we'll just click these and drag them over. It will say replace the files in the destination. We will say yes. All right, those files have been replaced. We can just minimize it. And then when I change my map again, you can see that they're back to the 256 sizes and they're small. If you have trouble reading this, these smaller maps on your UI. An alternative is the Atlas server has custom UI scaling. So if you left click up in the top left, right where the Atlas I-50 beta is, you can click and hold that and you can resize the map to anything that's comfortable and you can resize your, your UI that way. All right. Since I have good vision, I have everything set to the UI scale of one, which is the normal UI value. So that's it. You can do this on the fly in the game. You can do it out of game, whichever you're more comfortable with. And that is all for this tutorial. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave a comment below or you can reach me on Discord. I use the name Hazefest as my handle on Discord. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Hope to see you on Atlas.